Okay, so in this video, I'd like to talk about logical operators, and these are going to allow us to build bigger Boolean expressions, because right now just one variable is pretty boring. So let's uh, look at Boolean expressions. Um, logical operators refer to the AND operator, AND, OR, and NOT, and these are the symbols that we use for AND. Two vertical lines, uh, this is always tricky. People are like, where is that on the keyboard? It's right above the ENTER key. Uh, there's the backslash, I think it is, and then if you go shift backslash, it'll give you that, that vertical bar. So a double vertical bar like that is the OR operator, and an exclamation mark refers to NOT. And these allow us to um, build bigger expressions where we can have like two, so, the, so there's these truth tables here. Actually, let me do an example first. So I'm going to just delete all of this for a second, and I want to have a variable for um, older than... At 20, sorry, we'll say true, and let another variable called has license be assigned true. And then I'm going to do my binary if statement that says if the person is older than 20 and they have their license, right? These two things, that's what the and means, is that these two things have to be true in order for the entire expression to evaluate the true. All right, so this is true and this is true. Then we're just going to go console.log. Uh, you can rent a car. And then our else will be, well, obviously that's not true. So then console.log, the opposite is you can't rent a car. All right, let's save this and make sure it works. And it says you can rent a car. And now, if, if one of these becomes false, so maybe you're older than 20, but you don't have your license, it says you can't rent a car. Um, let's say you have your license, but you're not older than 20. You can't rent a car. And if you don't have your license and you're not older than 20, you can't rent a car. In order for you to be able to rent a car, both of these X, uh, both of these variables, right, this and this, have to be true. You can rent a car. Okay, and that's what this, uh, this truth table kind of shows you here for and. If you've got two expressions, in order for A and B to be true, see, see how it's true, false, false, false? The only condition where A and B is true is when both of them are true. Okay. Um, yeah. True, false is false, false, true is false, false, false is false, right? They both have to be true. All right, let's try this need a phone one. Um, all right, so let's do variables. Let um, phone broken variable be true. And let uh, phone older, let's just say phone old. And we'll say, I was going to do something that is older than five years, but whatever. We'll just say that it's an old phone, and that's true. And this time we're going to use or, right? I want to get a new phone if my phone is broken or my phone is old. Okay, so if my phone is broken, and then I'm going to use the, the double vertical bars, right? That means or. If phone is broken or my phone is old, then we'll console.log need new phone, else we'll console.log um, no new phone needed. Okay, cool. So again, if these, if both of these are true, all right, let's see what happens here. I, I need a new phone, right? Definitely, they're both true. My phone is broken and it's old. So, okay, time for a new phone. Now, what if um, my phone is not broken, but it's old? And now need is a different word. I probably don't need a new phone. It's probably still working, but whatever. I want a new phone. <laughs> That's what it should say. Um, anyway, save that. So yeah, so see how it still says need no need, sorry, need new phone. This expression is still evaluated to true because with the or, this could be true or this could be true, as long as at least one of them are is true, um, the whole expression evaluates to true, right? So if I say my phone is broken, but it's not old, 
well, I still need a new phone. It's only if they are both false. My phone is not broken and it's not old. I don't need a new phone. Okay, and that's what this uh, truth table again is saying here for the or. Notice how it's true in all cases. It's only false if they're both false. Okay, so this can be true or this can be true. So they can both be true, that's fine. All right, if they're both true, it still writes with true. If, if at least one of them is true, at least one is true, the whole expression is true. Okay, um, let's do, oh yeah, a little more of a complicated expression here. Let's try this one out. Um, let is rain. I'll just start the variable off as true. Um, let have umbrella be true. And actually, that's all I need. Because what we're going to do here is this idea of not raining. And actually, let's just play around with that here first. If I save this and go here, you can say if I look at is raining, that evaluates to true. If I do an exclamation mark in front of it, that basically is the not operator. So not is raining is false because it's, it's true that it is raining. So not true is false. All right, so kind of negation gets a little weird sometimes. I like to try to usually phrase things in the, in the positive, like, uh, but, but, but sometimes it comes in handy. So for example, here, do I want to go for a walk? Well, if, what am I going to do here? If it's raining and I have an umbrella, or it's not raining. Okay, so if is raining, and I have an umbrella is true, right? If this is true and this is true, I'm good. Or not is raining. Okay, so that's that, that not operator there, exclamation mark, uh, right here, exclamation mark. Okay, and if that's true, then I'll say, hey, let's go for a, what am I doing here? Walk again? Yeah, let's go for a walk. Else... No walk today. I'll just grab the semicolon there. Okay, here we go. So, right now, either... Oh, 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 okay, check that out. This is kind of interesting. Prettier added brackets for me. And I was actually going to talk to you guys about that. Because um, you have to be a little bit careful about order of operations. Um, I think I was going to talk about that in here. Oh, yeah, order of operations when we get to our passcode checker. But we can talk about it here, too. Basically, order of operations, these logical operators, it's like multiplication and division. It goes from left to right. Okay, so I'm going to evaluate the and first. Is this true and this true? And then that will evaluate to something, true or false. And then I check or this is true. Okay, so it goes left to right. So prettier will automatically say, hey, this is this is true and this is true, or this is true. So right now, if I test this, it says go for a walk because it's raining and I have an umbrella. So this evaluates the true, even though not is raining is false, at least the or means at least one is true. So this expression here is true. Okay. So if I did both of these false, I should still go for a walk. Right? Even though I don't have an umbrella, that's okay. It's not raining. Right? So this will evaluate the true, even though this part here evaluates the false. And I still go for a walk. Okay? It's only if it's true that it's raining, and I um, don't have an umbrella. right? Because this is going to evaluate the false, so I need this to evaluate the true. But in order for this to evaluate to true, they both have to be true. So I get no walk today. Okay. Now we can force it to do it the other way. If I get rid of these parentheses here and I add them here. Now this I don't think is, is logical, but it will say if it's raining, so if this is true, and I have an umbrella or it's not raining. Oh yeah, this, this logically doesn't make sense, okay, like just logically, but you can force it to evaluate this first. So this always has to be true, and in order for this to be true, I need to have an umbrella, and then I go for a walk because, 
Oh, I guess in some ways, actually, you know what? I guess in some ways it, it's similar because of the uh, the opposites. Is raining and not is raining. So the key thing really is still to have umbrella. All right. So anyway, that's what that is. Um, can I make this true some other way? If it's not raining, if this is, oh, no, see, but this is where the logic doesn't make sense because as soon as this is false, even if I have an umbrella, an umbrella it says no walk today because this is on its own right now. Yeah, 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 that doesn't make sense that way. But anyway, you can add parentheses, just like you can in mathematical expressions, to do the order of operations. Okay, and it's kind of neat that Prettier automatically puts it in, just to make it more clear. You don't have to put it in. JavaScript would still evaluate it, um, but it makes it more clear. Okay, that is the idea of logical operators. They allow us to build bigger Boolean expressions that evaluate the true or false, right? Where we can test this is true and this is true or and not. Okay, hope that made sense. Next one we'll learn about comparison operators. Yay.